Hi everyone, Mike here. I hope you're having an amazing day. And this is all about the five ways you can put yourself out there quickly. How can you get visible quickly? And I've came up with five things that you can do right now in order to make that happen. All right, so I want to dive in, dive into those five. The first two, really, the first one and two is trying to get yourself to feel like you can do it. Because I can't tell you how many times I've woken up, I've got, I don't feel like it, or I'm low on these two things, that if I dedicate myself to improving those two things, I will instantly start to do the visibility exercises, all right? And the first one is energy. It's feeling like you've got the energy to do whatever it is that you want to do. By right? people that you know, interviewing on podcasts, people that do videos like this one, people that speak on stage and they travel all the time. A lot of people wonder where they get their energy from. And the truth is, is we dedicate time to it. We dedicate time to us having the energy to be able to do the things that we are doing. So it's not as easy as, oh, I wake up every day and I feel great. It doesn't, it doesn't always work that way. Some days it does, I'm not going to lie. Some days I feel like I'm unstoppable. My clients feel like they're unstoppable and they just blast through their entire to-do list, right? But there are those that have days when I need to focus on increasing my energy and that will allow me to sort of snowball the rest. Because here's the thing, feeling motivated to do it, feeling like you've got the energy to do it. Sometimes it just comes naturally. Sometimes you wake up and you feel great. But other days you've got to make more of an effort. But energy is what's behind a lot of the things that people want. Motivation, time, because if you've got a higher energy rate, you can put your energy into things, get them done faster, and you end up doing more because things don't take as long as they otherwise would. So you want to factor in energy around everything that you do. Do you have enough energy to do it? Can you create the energy? What can you do? Whether it's diet, whether it's exercise, whether it's rest, whether it's like you do like star jumps in between videos, whatever it is to amp yourself up a little bit, before you do whatever it is that you want to do, that can make all the difference to how you come across, right? <clears throat> now, loads of people match the energy to the situation that they're in. So if you're doing emails, you don't need to be as jazzed up and energized as if you're going to do a video like this, for instance, or you're going to speak on stage. You need to match the energy to the situation that you're in and focusing on that can make all the difference when it comes to putting yourself out there. If you don't feel like you've got the energy, you won't do videos. You won't do Facebook Lives. You won't speak on stage. You won't record podcasts. They're just not things that you will do if you don't have the energy or don't feel like you have the energy. Because sometimes energy can be a real thing that you need. You need to eat better. You need to work out. You need to maintain your energy. But other days, it's just a feeling. It's just not feeling heavy. It's feeling lighter. It's feeling a bit more like a bit more of a pep in your step, if you will. That can make all the difference as well. So don't say, oh, I don't feel like it today. Is it right? Energy comes first. How can you feel like you've got the energy to do whatever it is that you want to do? All right, that's number one. The second part of this is confidence, is feeling good in yourself having a higher self-esteem. Because if you wake up and you don't look after yourself, you don't, I don't know, you don't get dressed, right? You don't pay attention to how you're feeling, you don't eat, you don't look after yourself well enough, you don't feel good in yourself. You're not going to feel confident enough to put yourself out there in that way. All right, it starts with you first. How do you feel about yourself? What can you do to increase how you feel about yourself. You know, there were, there were loads of people that will still get dressed up to do audio-based sessions. 
whether they're <clears throat> podcast interviews or phone calls, client calls, whatever it happens to be, even though you're not being seen, it helps because it improves how you feel about yourself. All right. So there are loads of people get dressed up for video calls, loads of video calls, audio calls. Some people don't because they don't need to. That's OK. They will do their thing to make them feel confident in themselves, feel good in themselves. They'll have theirs. They'll have their thing that they do. But you need yours. That's what I'm saying. So energy, confidence. Once you can build that in, you feel like you could do a lot more with your day. And that's okay. And you end up doing more with your day. Even if you've got not a lot on your to-do list, you find things to do. Here's the thing. You can go from having a short to-do list because that's all you can manage, energy-wise or confidence-wise, to feeling better. And you're like, oh my God, I've smashed my to-do list within two minutes, 10 minutes. And you've got extra spare time, what can you do? And that's an amazing space to be in. It's better to not overwhelm yourself, feel good, get it all out of the way, get it all done, and then have the space and have the energy and have the time to put to other extra projects, all right? Or extra credit, as I call it. I like to call it extra credit because it feels a bit like sneaky and a bit of a bonus to do the extra things that aren't already on your list. So that's that, okay, that's number two. Number three is, what's your motivation for doing it? Why do you do it, all right? So for me, it's about impacting people, it's about positively impacting people, it's about hitting my sort of, not vanity or ego, but I want to feel like I'm making a difference and that's why I do it. Or if I put myself out there enough, I can help more people. And that's, that's my motivation for doing it. It's not just about making money, even though that happens as a result of the other thing, right? That happens further down the line. If you're doing it just to make money, that's okay. No judgment from me. But that, that's something you need to find out. That's what you need to know. You need to understand yourself enough to know why you're doing it. It's important to know. doesn't matter what it is. You've just got to find it out. All right, so that's number three. Number four, getting into the more strategy side now. So number four is host your own parties. Host your own, all right? The cool kids were the ones that hosted the parties. They became cool because they hosted, they did their own thing and invited everybody along. So have your own show, have your own podcast, do your own videos, interview people, bring people on, host events, get people involved, all right? I've hosted like three events. I've got like three or four summits that I'm doing in the first half of the year. I'll probably do something similar later on. And I have my own podcast. I've got my own show. There's a whole host of stuff going on because I do it myself. This means you've got to be a leader to a certain degree. You've got to keep getting people in, talking to people, building relationships with people. It's an everyday thing that you keep going with. You keep pushing, you keep doing your own stuff while you look for opportunities to be in other people's spaces. And if enough people host their own, you will find them. If enough people get in this leader mentality and start looking for their own stuff they can do. If you can do that and look for other people all the time, sometimes the people you bring in are doing their own. <coughs> it becomes a spider web of connections of, I know this person, <clears throat> I know that person, he's doing this, they're doing that, I can get involved with them and they're getting involved with me and everything works together to create this ecosystem or spider web, if you will, of showing up of visibility. But don't forget, having your own stuff positions you higher than someone that doesn't on, let's say, the know, like, and trust ladder, right? Because if people know you, if people like you, and if people trust you, they're more likely to buy something from you or invest in some way, okay? And hosting your own thing, having your own thing, makes a difference. Being on other people's things makes a difference as well, all right? People trust me more because I have my own show. 
People trust me more because I do videos like this. People trust me more because I interview people that are also amazing at what they do. People trust me more because I'm on other people's platforms. I get interviewed in other places, right? So it's not just about being out there, having something that also attracts people in. Do both. It's not, it's not a, like an, an, no, it isn't an all game. It isn't you've got to pick one. It isn't you've got to, you know, stick in your lane in terms of the visibility. Do as much as you can. As much as you have the energy and confidence to do. And you have the right motivations, the right reasons why you're doing them. Once you do those, you're more likely to do it. You're more likely to be having the, the time, the energy, and the focus to do those things, right? Because it all works together. These five things all work together. They're not standalone. You do these things, you will increase your visibility dramatically. You'd be surprised at what you can do. So hosting your own parties allows you to bring people in. It allows you to collaborate with others, other people in your industry, other people in your area, not 100% clashing because otherwise you're competitive, right? But there will be people out there that are similar but different from what you do. And if you can collaborate with those people, this means you've got to be specific yourself. So we're assuming here that you are a specialist, that you are an expert in a particular area. And once you can do that, then you go, right, I don't clash with a lot of people now. I have my own little playground on the internet. It allows me to do those things. And because if you're, if you're a personal trainer, you can't collaborate with a lot of people because you clash with everybody. Everyone that wants to lose weight, everyone that helps people lose weight, you will clash with them. If, you know, you clash with everybody because you're too broad. But if you help, 40 to 50 year olds manage, manage their weight loss while balancing their hormones, let's say, because for guys and girls, you know, our hormones are com completely struggling at that point. If you do that, you can collaborate with people that aren't in that little area. Everybody that is not in that little area, you can collaborate with because you're not in competition with them because they work with a different type of person. They work in a different type of area. All right. So when you can do that, you go down the collaboration mindset as opposed to the com competition mindset. And once you do that, the world opens up because you never know who knows someone that needs what you have. That's why it's a constant thing. And for number five, for number five, it's making it a priority. So if showing up, if putting yourself out there, isn't a priority if you don't make it a priority it will never be one you will never start you will never create it you will never put yourself out there in the right way if it isn't important if it isn't smack bang in the center of your marketing of your branding of your putting yourself out there as an expert. If you don't make it a priority, if it's never important, you will find too many ways to not do it. You'll find too many reasons to pull out, too many reasons to say no, rather than the reasons to say yes. So what do you focus on? The reasons to say no or the reasons to say yes? That is up to you. But it depends on how important the thing is. Make visibility important make exposure important make putting yourself out there important do those five things have the energy have the confidence find out what your why is find out what your motivation is for doing it host your own stuff as well as being on other people's don't just think in the big wide world because the amount of things that i've got access to because i'm a podcaster because I show up and do my own things, people recognize you, people know who you are, people understand that you know what it is that you're talking about, so you're more likely to get the opportunities that you put yourself out for. <coughs> it's a double-edged sword, all right, that works in your favor. All right, so do both. 
And number five is making it a priority. Make it a part of your day. Make it a part of your week. Make it a part of your business building activities to put you and your business out there every single day in some way. All right? I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I look forward to chatting to you again very, very soon.